Just back from Xavier and getting ready for the CBE Classic in Kansas City next week, we're joined by head coach Kim Anderson. And uh, what positives did you draw out of that uh, trip to Cincinnati to take on Xavier? Well, I thought we competed really well, man. I thought that, uh, uh, you know, we had, had a little run there in the second half where they built a lead and uh, we continued to play. Uh, you know, we were able to get it back down a little bit. But Xavier's a good team. They, they of course, um, their size was a problem for us. Um, you know, we fouled too much, we turned the ball over too much, uh, and we didn't match their intensity on the boards. And that's something that being a little bit of a smaller team at times when we put a certain lineup in there, you got to be able to match that intensity on, on the board. So, but all in all, you know, I was encouraged. I thought our young guys played without fear. And uh, you know, hopefully it's a game we can build on and uh, uh, get better as we head in next week to play in Kansas City. When you talk about being competitive and, and your team playing without fear, what are those little things that you see in the way this team is playing through the first few games that maybe weren't there a year ago? Well, I, th I think they're, they're, they're sharing the ball better. I don't, you know, statistically, I don't know if it, if it shows, but I think that uh, you know, we're not holding on to the ball as much. Uh, we're not trying to make as many individual plays. I think uh, we're sharing the ball with each other, which is important. And uh, so far, we're we're not really caring who scores, which is uh, I think very very essential to us being a good team. Um, you know, we get out, we we dive on the floor. We we uh, I think we play hard. I think we battle. You know, technically, we need to do a better job of blocking out on the boards. Uh, because as we alluded to earlier, we're not as big. Uh, but all in all, I, I think this team's a lot different than last year's team. And, uh, you know, we have guys that can get the ball to the basket a little bit better. You think about Terrence and KJ and Wes and, and you know, Naaman showed the other night he could take the ball to the basket. And that's something that we missed a year ago. We just couldn't play vertically. We just kept playing sideline to sideline. Your young players, your freshmen, just continue to to impress night in and night out. And against Xavier, here here comes Colin Van Leer uh, after KJ and, and, and Kevin and, and Terrence had had a lot of attention. Um, what is it about that group, maybe collectively, that that has caused them to have so much success so quickly? Well, they all want to win. They all come from winning programs. Uh, they're all used to winning, and they've all been well coached, and they've all been taught the right way to play basketball and they, they I just think they're a, a, a special group you know and if, if they stick together I think they can really do some great things over a four-year period but you know so far it's it's been uh, exciting for me as a coach to watch them develop you know from the time they got here in June until now they continue to get better and better um, you know the fun thing is they don't really care if they start Okay, they just want to play and they just want to win and they all know that they can contribute and they've played for the most part um, with a lot of confidence. How exciting is it going to be to face Kansas State in Kansas City? A lot of great memories for Missouri fans in, in KC at the Sprint Center and uh, I'm sure fans will be really excited to see a familiar team like the Wildcats. I think it's great. You know, uh, I'm excited to be playing Kansas State and uh, that's an old Big 8, Big 12 rivalry for me and, and of course, the opportunity to play in Kansas City where we have so many great Tiger fans and uh, to play in the Sprint Center is, is uh, I think it'll be a special two days. And, and, you know, I've tried to impress that upon our guys. That, uh, hey, this is a big rivalry game, you know. You talk about Kansas, Kansas State. I said Kansas is probably the number one rival uh, just by virtue of all the history. But... Uh, Kansas State, for me, is right up there. So uh, excited, looking forward to it. Should be fun, Coach. Thanks, and good luck in KC. Okay, thanks, Ben. His Tigers take on Kansas State Monday at the Sprint Center in Kansas City.